Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here. This video is a great update for anyone that's ever jailbroken their device and has Cydia. So Cydia has been updated to a new version and the most important feature of this update is the speed. And the further down the line you go of iPhones, so from the iPhone 4 down to the 3G, you're going to notice this more. So on the iPhone 3G, I have noticed a humongous difference. Everything loads much faster. On the iPhone 4, I've noticed a big difference, but not as big as the 3G. So it's a really great thing to have, guys. And the, the problem is not everyone has gotten this update available to them. So I'm going to show you how to update it manually if you haven't already. So there's two things you need to do. One, you need to check if you have this update. If you don't have this update, it will not be 1.0.3366. It'll be something like 1.0.32 or something something below this. And if you guys don't have that, and if you have updates, make sure to update everything. And if you still don't have it, this video will show you how to update and get those amazing speed improvements. So you will need two things in Cydia. And we will need to add a source to get them. So you'll go to Manage sources edit add and you will add and this is the source you guys will be adding repo.insanelyi.com it's in the description if you can't see it here and you do not add Xlease source because the i file in Xlease does not allow you to get root access as administrator of your device it's missing a feature that the repo.insanelyi i file has and to answer your questions, this does not remove sources, packages, anything. It just updates your Cydia. So there's really no risk involved with this. And then you'll search for iFile. You will install that right there. And then you we will be searching for Safari Download Manager. Right here. And you can see it. Safari Download Manager. Do not install the one from Xlease. Find the one from Insanely Eye and download that one as well. Once you've got those two things installed, it'll ask you to respring. You'll respring. And once you're finished respringing, you will see iFile on your springboard and you will not see Download Manager. So now we head over to Safari and you're going to load this page. There's a link in the description if you can't see it here, but it's cl.ly slash 3 uppercase u zero I and you will load that in Safari and then you'll get to this page you'll click download and this is the Cydia update and it will automatically ask if you want to open it using iFile and that's what we will do click open in iFile and it'll automatically ask you if you want to install it so click installer and it will load guys um, in the in the end this will work guys so once you're done, you can reboot your device, and if you head over to Cydia on the bottom, you will see the updated version code of this Cydia. And that's it, guys. Really hope you like this video. This makes Cydia a whole lot tolerable, and if you haven't, do it, guys. It is worth it. So again, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, guys.